the flesh is a spiritual entity. And that is why he can contend with the spirit. So if you want to fight the flesh, that is why I said when we say mortify the deeds of the, mortify, it has to be with spiritual tools. But anytime you find any weakness that you have, there is al almost always a, an eating habit that you need to stop. Either a food or the way you eat that food or the time you eat that food. There is always Kayanos, 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 Fresh Tongues, Kayanos, Fresh Tongues, Rivers. Many of you have drunk only one river. Meanwhile, the scripture said, Rivers, you will drink another river. Kayanos from your belly, Kayanos from your belly, Kayanos. A new depth, a new fountain, a new depth, a new fountain. Kayanos! Starve the flesh as much as possible and feed the spirit as much as possible. Remember we said the first one is the, the, the supply of the spirit of life. Hmm? If you pray more and fast more, you know, not just pray, you know, there are days you pray and you ascend and you know that you ascended. If the more you keep praying like that, you notice that there is a lesser tendency of demons, depression, sinning, weaknesses to express itself within that environment. Is it not true? You have to come down for it to work. That's the law of the supply of the spirit of life. The more priesthood is available, the less likely it is for you to sin. Are you getting what I'm saying? Even if you finally made mistake and sinned, there is a higher possibility of somebody that has been living in prayer, fasting, and Bible studies to be restored faster than somebody that is not doing it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Uh -huh. Now, even if it happened, as I said yesterday, it is most likely because the quota of life that you have supplied by your priesthood is not enough to counter the effect of the oppressions of the principle of death and sin. Is it not true? Uh -huh. So you can just pray for 30 minutes. But the principle of death and sin that is already working, lust has been building in your heart for three weeks. Are you getting the point? So you just came today and prayed hard for 30 minutes, but you still did something. It means that what you did is correct, but it is not enough. Satan has already suffocated your life, your heart, with evil. So you needed something much more. A higher quota, a higher supply. Are you getting it? A higher supply of life is what it takes to counter it. Doesn't mean that the supply that you have, a little prayer and all that is not good. But considering the impact of that weakness, that sin in your life, you need to supply more. Are you getting where? So we have touched it. The number two is what? Let's say it again. Stab the flesh as much as possible. Uh, stab the flesh and stuff the spirit. Stab the flesh and stuff the spirit. What did I say? Stab the flesh and stuff the spirit. Let it be your motto. Stab the flesh. Stab. Stab the flesh. And what? Stuff the spirit, starve the flesh, and st stuff the spirit like pumping things into it. There are many ways to starve the flesh. Number one, reduce your pleasure habits. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. That's one way to starve the flesh. Hmm? Pleasure habits, pleasure. As a normal human being, what do you like doing? Watching movie. Playing football, watching football, just in with friends. Okay, whatever your own is, I might not know it. Amen? Amen? But there is something that you normally do that your flesh likes. For some people, it's food. And I will get there. Food is a food is a faculty. In my own opinion, in this in this matter of starve the flesh, there are only three faculties. 
One is the faculty of food, the faculty of sleep, and then others. The first faculty is what? The second faculty is what? The third faculty is what? From my research, every weakness starts from too much eating. You can trace it to it. Your too much might not be my too much. Oh. So when I say too much, put it in context. There are sisters that will just bring out something like this and say, ah, you are not eating much. It's you and God that know you are a gluten. <laughs> you and God know. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, you just say, I just, I don't like, I don't like, um, um, <laughs> just give me ice cream and, 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 um, and meat pie, chicken pie. Eh? Don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to eat much. All this swallow and all that. I don't want to eat swallow. I don't want to be feel heavy. I don't want to feel heavy. If you don't want to he feel heavy, oh, he may be happen. <laughs> Meat pie does not make you to feel less heavy. If swallow, if, if swallow, is it not big swallow that makes you feel heavy? Reduce the swallow now. Swallow is, it makes you feel heavy because of its size. Reduce the size. It a meat pie now to seven me what? <laughs> you, <laughs> you, say you want to? I just want. I just want to take something light, and you ate three meat pie, three meat pies, and you want to feel light. <laughs> uh, If there is a sin that refuses to stop in your life, check it where there is an eating habit you need to break. From my research. I'm not saying the Bible said it, but if you don't believe me, keep, keep, keep falling and rising. Keep falling and rising. I will meet you in five years' time. People, all, they quickly doubt. They have not properly sat down to do research. They think some of us just come out and think, we do research. We are troubled by people's trouble and we sit down and research. Sometimes we use our life to check it. Check it. There is always a food. You will be saying, eh, what is the food? What is it? it can just be gary and salt. I'm telling you, no sugar, no nothing. This guy must drink gary. He must drink gary. He must drink. Go and check it. There is something. So when I'm, I'm saying ice cream and yogurt and, and uh, parfait and uh, shawarma and all that and meat pie, your own mind. So you say, ah, thank God, oh, we, not, we is Gary. So we are, not, we are not in this. I say, Gary is. <laughs> Stop writing. Stop writing. There is nothing to write. <laughs> There's nothing to write. Am I saying what am I saying that? <laughs> There's nothing to write, and the guy is he, he was busy, right? I, I, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm wondering what I was saying that will make you to write. Huh? There are people they even like Gary and Salt. They prefer it. Sometimes Gary and without. They will just be taking it and be happy. <laughs> Somebody says sisters. Well, sisters not there. The guy if they follow us online. <laughs> as you are as you are taking it, you are very happy. You when you see them. You will think there is something special. You quickly rush spoon <laughs> and take one spoon and regret it. 
when you take that one spoon, you regret that you join them. Those people, they are enjoying. No matter what they eat in tent, no matter what they eat after everybody and we had after night prayers, they go to a <laughs> How can they say that somebody is a custodian? <laughs> Amen. I'm not saying that drinking Gary is a sin, no. Please. I believe we understand. Amen. If I'm not even saying that eating food is a sin. Hmm? But anytime you find any weakness that you have, there is almo almost always a, an eating habit that you need to stop. Either a food or the way you eat that food or the time you eat that food. That is always. Oh, you want to know how I knew? <laughs> Number two. Number two is what? <laughs> Romans chapter 8 verse 13. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. Say after me, ye shall die. I don't want to go further in this scripture because this is talking to believers. He said, if you are born again and then decided after you are born again to keep living after the flesh, ye shall die. And as I was teaching you people yesterday, anytime you sin, ice, you died. There are kinds of death, categories of death. At least one of them will happen to you. And the least amongst them is physical death. Physical death is not really as, as serious as we think before God. Are you with me? I know you will not believe it. But physical death is not really as serious as... If raising people from... Like you died to raise you from the dead. You know it looks as if it's hard. Before God, somebody being born again is being raised from the dead. It's a harder thing than raising somebody that just died physically. The spiritual oppression that makes for somebody being born again... Is a far superior oppression that than somebody that just ri rise from the dead. Lazarus that rose from the dead, did he not die again? If you rise from the dead physically, you will die again. If you are born again huh? and stay in Christ, you will not die. Even if you died physically, Jesus said on that last day, he will raise you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But if you, through the Spirit, what? That, if your Bible is your own. Huh? I want you to underline that word, mortify. Mortify. The best way to understand this verse that I'm reading now is to go to anatomy class and go to cadaver class. Cadaver. Cadaver, even if you bring knife and cut it, does he feel anything? Why? It's a serious thing. Look at that scripture carefully. It said, if you through this spirit mortify, so you are the one that will do the mortification, but not from your personal effort, by the spirit. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's try Let me say it literally. He said, if you through the spirit kill the flesh, Mortify is kill. Is it not true? Mortify. So, our God is in search of morticians. Spiritual morticians. Bro. Alpha. Hi. We are in search of morticians, Buddhism. The only reason why you respond is because you are alive.
the only reason why you respond is because you are what? Alive. Have you seen, if you see a naked woman and you responded, it means that you are what? I didn't hear you. It means that you are what? The Bible said, kill it. Kill that thing that has the ability to respond to a woman. Kill that thing that has the ability to respond to a man by the spirit. It means that this oppression is a spiritual thing. This is a hard teaching. There are people that are petting, petting their flesh. Petting it like this. One day that flesh will become a monster and swallow you. Hmm? You that is even small. You, are, you will not even be enough for a meal. It's after me, mortify. Key. Any opportunity. Listen. Many times the Holy Spirit offers us. Remember I said, the Bible said, yes, good. Through the Spirit. I want you to do that thing to Spirit too. Do it to Spirit and do it to that mortify. Because it's not just key. It has to be through the Spirit too. I have told you people of a monk in the monastery that doesn't like the way he responds to sexual things. And then the monk went and cut off his private part. Hmm? The monk was surprised that he saw a woman and still liked a woman again. I don't understand. Before you had an erection, you liked a woman first. That means whatever is working is where? Your body is responding to what is working inside. And I, let me tell you, when you hear this flesh here, this flesh here is not this body. Listen to me. Flesh is not necessarily body. You are not hearing me. Flesh is not necessarily body. In fact, I think I will teach it tomorrow. Flesh is a spiritual entity. <laughs> If flesh is this body, it cannot contend with the spirit. The only reason why that the flesh has capacity to actually contend with a spirit is because it can, it can operate in the realm of... of the, are you getting the point? You can only contend with me when me and you can, can have a meeting point. The flesh is a spiritual entity and that is why it can contend with the spirit. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, if you want to fight the flesh, that is why I said, when we say mortify the deeds of the, mortify, it has to be with spiritual tools. If you use physical tools, it cannot achieve anything. Hmm? Because what you are fighting is not your body. If you cut off your private part, you will still like woman and follow woman. According to Jesus, even if you did not commit fornication, I mean, you, you did not do the act, and something happened in your heart. What did Jesus say? You have sinned. That means whatever needs to die, we die where? Yes, Let me even say this thing. There are people that have not literally committed fornication. Eh? But they have, done, they have done everything possible. They have done everything possible. The only thing that they have not done is penetration. They have not... But they have done everything possible. So I'm trying to say you two need help. So don't come and say, <laughs> we, we, you are a hypocrite. Is this my teaching too hard? Why is everywhere this quiet? There are people, they might not have done the action. But what is going on in their mind? Jesus Christ. Their mind is wild. If we play on the screen, if we play on this screen, what has gone through the mind of the people sitting here, at the way we are, we are trying to become like Christ, let's leave others that are loose. If we play it on this screen, you'll be shocked. You will change your opinion about many people. 
Don't wait for us to play it on the screen. Play it by yourself. And ask the Holy Spirit to help you and kill it now. A sister might not have committed fornication. But in your mind, you have slept four people every day. Before God, how many people have you slept with? I'm telling you a fact. I think you people don't want to follow me. So let me, let me stop. This, my teaching has become too hard. Hmm? According to Jesus' standard, how many people do you sleep with daily? Hmm. It's four people. So when we say mortify the deeds of the flesh, we are not talking of this your physical body because just because no action has happened in this physical body, you are not exempted. A sister passes before you and the sister thought he has gone back to his house. The sister didn't know that you went back to your house with him. Are you getting the point? <laughs> you are not. You are not. <laughs> the sister thought he went home. He didn't know that you kidnapped her. And went back home with her. So every day you are going back with every sister. In your fellowship, you have slept with all of them. You are not hearing what I'm saying. So, you know, my teaching, this is real. This is the real thing. On this account, eh, plenty of people have. Uh, as you are now, there are some sisters that have slept with you. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not saying it to shame you. I'm saying so God will, will pray all of us so that God will help us. You have not done any action. Jesus said you are a fornicator. That the reason why you are coming to Revival Hub is to carry, as you are going, people are going, people think they are going, you carry, you, you butcher one mother now. Tomorrow you, you carry another one. According to Jesus' rating, the oppression of the flesh is very strong in your life, even though no action has taken place. But by God's rating, you are very perverse and immoral. But you have not taken one action physically. But in your life, the oppression of the flesh is very strong. Save us. On this account, how many people will be saved? That's, you, you don't know. When we say power over sin, you say, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. Give me small sound, tell them. Tell, who is them? You are the one. Who is them? They give you money to go and buy something for a revival hub. Hmm? To buy something. You finish buying. So they gave you 2000 you Told them that the price is 2000 You went and priced. It was 1850 hmm? You now use the remaining to buy popcorn. <laughs> huh? You're a thief. We are going to all of us. We will pray. We will pray here. We are going to pray here because in your mind, the way I saw some of you, you balance like this. You are, you are not saying it with your mouth. You are saying, tell them, tell them, tell them. Meanwhile, that tell them you are the them. You are the them. They have never given you money to buy something and you return change. And you are saying, God save the sinners <laughs> and jesus is saying when will this person stop looking at people and look at himself we will make more progress when you stop looking at people and look at yourself yes do you know somebody can be an usher and your job is to count money and the money they told you to keep, many times you have spent it and returned in your heart. <laughs> I'm not saying the one you literally did. Is this in too hard? 
the money they kept, they gave you in Beterama to keep, you use it to buy. And then, I'm not saying the one you used and returned. I'm saying the one you even spent in your heart. After spending it all, when you now wake up in the money, for God to save you from a curse, they will now say, give us the money. And you gave it to them. The money, iji ge go awa. Ge go. It's after me, Jesus, help me. Help me now. That one is the real principle of the flesh. And his power is strong in your life. As long as it's there, there is only one thing that we need, an opportunity. When an opportunity that is too strong for you to resist presents itself, you will take advantage. Because you have not mortified the deeds of the flesh. You have not taken advantage of the power of the spirit to kill that thing in your life. Huh? We have not seen the action yet. But the principle is strong. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. All of us will pray today. <laughs> God told me that all of us will pray. But if you feel, eh, if you feel that this teaching doesn't concern you, that you have now become too big, that you know this thing cannot touch you, eh, continue the way you are going. Continue. A day will come. Eh, you are anointing. You will now fall as an anointed man. It is better now that God helps you before your anointing increases. When you, if you are a fornicator, when you increase, you become an anointed fornicator. Your anointing increases with your fornication. So it is better now. <laughs> if you steal, you are greedy. It does, the anointing doesn't change it. You become an anointed greedy man. If you are a slanderer, you are a tattoo teller. You are a blackmailer. You are a blackbiter. Oh, the anointing doesn't stop it. It will never stop it. It will amplify it. You will receive more skills. But if you through the spirit will mortify. to go to the abattoir where men are slaughtered make sure you don't come back alive for now it is just tendencies for now for now but you need to have power over them. You need to have power over them. Oh, my God. 
Thank you. 